Next up, we have Liang here with us today. Liang is a mathematics major with a minor in communication at Baruch University and is currently studying machine learning um, with a focus on NLP and reinforcement learning. Liang has worked on projects involving the implementation and reinforcement learning algorithms and NLP. Liang has been part of the development of a research paper demonstrating how we can improve text classification performance with human feedback. And with that being said, Liang, whenever you're ready. Hi, nice to meet you guys. Yes. So just like these large language model like BERT, CEPHET, um, and Claude, they essentially are transformers and they are pre-trained on various data sets like math, history, et cetera. Because of them being pre-trained on various data sets, um, they tend to hallucinate if they see some new unseen data. Fast forward to 2021 um, to now, there are new techniques, or you also can call them like machine learning paradigms that can increase the accuracy of these um, large language models, like few shot learning and active learning. And currently we have like RAG, which is stand for retrieval augmented generation. Yes, our goal is to uh, utilize these few shot learning and fine tuning and active learning with human feedback to boost the accuracy of these large language model. So specifically, uh, for my research will be text classification. Why text classifications? Um, most data in our world are essentially text, right? And text data are the mostly highly unstructured out there. Why is that? Be simply because there's missing rows, grammar, um, mislabel, et cetera. So throughout the research, um, I benchmarked on two of these um, data sets, which are the Amazon review data sets and the finance data sets, which consist of class table like uh, Excellent, very good, neutral, good, and bad. That's corresponding to a certain customer's review. And for finance data sets will be positive, negative, and neutral, which correspond to like how the market is actually going, what's going on with the market. So with active learning, um, we initially use these zero shot models, which is a fancy way of saying, um, like models like ChatGPT, Claw, Bird, and Cephid that are pre-trained on various domains. And because they train on various domain, um, they are not really accurate or they are not designed for text classifications. So what can we do? So by fine tuning, by um, incorporating active learning through human feedback, um, the model's performance can get better iteratively. So as you see uh, in the image on the left, the zero shot model predict on row two, like their customer your account balance is not spam, but the actual answer is actually spam. And, but by providing feedback to the first row of the data uh, to not spam, as you see on the right, the, the, the predictions uh, adjust from not spam to spam. So a second solution for these low accuracy um, zero shot model is fine tuning the model do human feedback. So if you call the API key for like ChatGPT, for example, and you ask questions like, is the market is up today? Can you tell me if it's positive, negative, neutral? Often it answer it incorrectly. Well, it can answer it correctly, but it has that additional explanation to it. When you have that additional explanation to it, it's extremely hard for data scientists to calculate its accuracy. So a solution is that you can uh, fine tune it, uh, 10 rows of data with a corresponding answer and desired format. Iteratively, over time, the model's accuracy will improve. 
So few shop learning. Like previously, Natan mentions that um, because these large language model hallucinates uh, and pre-trained on various data sets, um, these uh, traditional machine learning models tend to fail because of that, because most data in the world are extremely unstructured. And a, set, a dark solution we could use as using something called few shot learning as essentially you provide some sort of um, example to these large language models and you do that early to produce um, high accuracy. So with fail human feedback, uh, the model, you're not making any modifications to the models itself. Because of that, the accuracy is essentially horizontal. But um, with human feedback, you're essentially baking weights. Um, do it could, you could bake weights through fine tuning, and because you're baking, you're changing the models' weights. Um, you can see there's some modifications to the models, and because of that, you can see an increase in accuracy. I should provide more examples. So, as you see, um, for my research. If I increment um, feedback to the model incrementally 10 at a time, as I did that to 150, you can see the model's accuracy in terms of accuracy, precision, and recall increases. So why is this important? Because in healthcare and finance, um, it's extremely hard for a normal person to understand, for example, finance data, right? Um, and Similarly, apply to healthcare. So, I'm at, so an industry expert should be the one that's providing feedback to these large language models. So, in summary, um, large language model in 2024 and further on will continue to get better. But they are not going to be good in itself with one specific applications. So, in order for them to be really good for certain game, or certain, and for this example, will be tax classifications. We had to leverage some sort of fine tuning, active learning, few shot learning, or what Ethan mentioned, retrieval augmented generation to enhance the model's accuracy so that the model don't hallucinate. Thank you, Lang, so much for presenting and showcasing all of your learnings. Um, Lang's research paper, along with other uh, breakthrough tech people, will be shared later on for all of you guys to access and view.